Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be going over the health mechanic or health system that I wrote. Uh, this basically takes damage or gives damage or gives health back to the player if wanted. Uh, we got a couple scripts here we're going to go over and then I'm going to show you what it looks like in Unity itself. So up here we got use health text. Are we using a health text? If we are, here's the text smash pro for it. Are we using a health slider? If we are, here's the health slider for that. Here's our max health value, our current health value. Should we recharge our health? And if so, what is the recharge rate? In start, if we're using the health slider, we're setting the health slider that max value to max health and then we're setting our health equal max value. On update, if recharge health is true, we give health at the health recharge rate. If use health text is true, we uh, do health text dot text equals math round to int dot health, or round to int health because this is a float dot two string. If not, you get a big number and it's hard to differentiate exactly what number you're looking at. If use health slider, health slider dot value equals health. Simple enough. That's current health there. Deals damage to this object. Take damage and it takes in a float value. Health of minus equals the value. Uh, if it's less than equal to zero, we're just setting it to zero. It doesn't destroy the object or anything at this time, but we can do that in the future. Uh, give health float value. Health is plus equal to value. If it's greater or equal to max value, set it to max health so that it can't go above it. And then get health accessor. Um, excuse me. Get health accessor. Public float. Get health. Return health. Uh, we could do a. We could come up here and right click on this uh, health. And quick action from refactoring and use this property field instead. And it would reset all these variables in here to use the property health here instead um, which is a, an option I'm learning more as I progress in my career uh, about coding and best practices damage on contact so this is going to deal damage when it hits um, either on trigger enter or on collision enter we got a float for damage excuse me phone's going off let me get that out of here real quick. Alright, so we got a float for damage, the amount of damage to deal. We got a bull uh, damage by collider. Does this deal damage by collider or trigger? So if this is true, it's going to do on collision enter. Uh, bull has done damage. Has his object dealt damage once already. So when this goes, when this enters it, it's going to set this to true so it doesn't enter it again. It deals double damage or triple damage. On trigger enter, if we find a health component is null and we haven't done damage yet, we're going to deal damage and set has done damage to true. If we don't find a health component, we're going to check in the parent, um, get component in parent. And this is wrong here. There we go. Get component and parent health. I'll take damage. Because we're using this here. And we're going to be jumping into it there. So take damage. Damage has done damage is true. And then if it's on collision enter and as if the damage by collider is true. We're going to see if there's a health component and have done damage is false if it is true if that's true if this statement is true uh take damage damage has done damage is true if it's not there we're going to check in the parent for the health component and has done damage is false and then we're going to deal damage and then this is a back and forth script this is just moving an object left and right so bull moving right equals true. Is this object moving right? 
float speed, how fast this object moves. So if moving right, we're transforming our translate vector three dot right times speed times de time dot delta time. Else we're translating it dot left. On trigger enter, if we hit a finish flag, we're flipping the um, variable to whatever is not. And then now let's see how this looks in action. We're going to go to health system. And we're going to start. So is that 100 health? It hits the trigger. The trigger set to finish. And it's going to send it, uh, send that variable that is moving to whatever it's not. And it looks like it's broken at the moment. It did damage the first time, but now it's not doing damage after. So that's something that I got to fix. Um, and I'm not sure what that would be, but I will get that fixed. Unless it was that code piece that I just fixed. And it could be because this is an old build. So there's a face camera script on the canvas. It should be. Yeah, because it should be facing the camera the whole time. The slider and the health. Uh, so it did damage once, but the trigger's working at least. It's moving back and forth. Uh, yeah. But that's all I wanted to show you. That's how the health system should work. Um, it worked the first time. Uh, I got to debug that and get it working after, because it was working before that. But thanks for watching. Uh, if you got any questions, please comment. Um, and comment, like, and subscribe. It does help uh, YouTube algorithm and all that fun stuff. I got a Patreon at Wix, uh, itch.io, LinkedIn. All that fun stuff will be in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.